All right, in this video, part five of KOWP for beginners. And now it's gonna to get to the point where when I make these videos, it's gonna be good to recap from part four um, because as I make those, sometimes I just start doing things on the fly. And I, I did get, hopefully got the point across to you about stack groups and overlap groups. So feel free to read over these to make sure you can recall, you know, all that information up to about there. But then also in part four, I discuss these things. And you know, that's not related directly to stack groups or overlap groups, but we got this stuff looking somewhat um, somewhat nice. We're gonna tweak that in this video, but you know, the things that I did cover that's not related directly to stack groups or overlap groups is showing only hours and showing only minutes. For example, the 11 and the 32 that you see here, these are two separate text items because the 11 is bigger than the 32. And there's a way we can change our functions and our codes inside of the text to do that. We also uh, covered how to show just the AM or PM because that's a separate text item. We also looked at one digit versus two digits in the time. Um, notice right now it says 11, but had this been like nine o'clock in the morning, the way I had this one set up in the video is that it will show zero nine. But you can adjust the number of digits, and I did cover that in part four, where if it was nine o'clock, you can have just a nine show in here if you wanted. And that's referred to as zero padding once you get used to seeing that in the functions or codes under text items. Then we also looked at how to do short names for days and months. For example, the day of the week, Sunday, and the month, October. Um, I showed you how to code that so you can have a short listing instead of it saying S-U-N-D-A-Y, we just want to see S-U-N. Um, same thing for October. So we covered that in that video, and then we also looked at how to capitalize all the letters of a word. Because um, the coding originally would be capital S, lowercase u, lowercase n, but there is a code that we can do to make everything all caps, and we did that for these two pieces right here. So if you need some help with those things, go back and watch part four if you skipped over it. And I think that was it for that video. That's just a recap. Now let's look at some global fonts. That's the main thing here is global fonts and maybe making this thing look a little bit different. Um, if you fast forward to the end, of the end of the video, fast forward to the very end, and this is going to, you're going to see this same thing, but it's going to look totally different. So cleaning this up, and uh, let's establish some global fonts to do so. Uh, we have three pieces here. Here's what I'm going to do. Back in root, this is where you can access your globals. And underneath here, uh, we have, I'm going to do this. Um, all my numbers, I want those to be a certain font. And then all these things with letters, I want those to be a certain font. Just for the sake of this video, showing you how you can apply a global font. So I'm adding a global you got to pick the type font and I'm going to call it number or numbers and I'm going to do an additional one and I'm going to call it letters. Make sure you pick font for your type. Now we have to pick fonts. So basically here's what's going to happen. When we pick these fonts and we're going to have to go back and apply it to each one of these pieces individually since we already created them. But later on down the road, if you wanted to change these, you will not have to go back and change all three separately once we apply this global font. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it for right now. I'm just going to pick something totally random just for the sake of this to speed things up. Same thing for letters. Pineapple. All right. So we got these two things here. Now, how do we apply these? So my numbers, I want to apply this global font. Letters, I want to apply that. So I'm going back to my items in my root, and let's do our numbers first. So I want to find my 11, my minutes, and the day of the month, and apply that global font. So here's how we do it. Let's find them. I'm going to find my 11. Here's my 11. Check the box beside font. These up here will change. Click on the globe for global, and then tap that globe and pick numbers or whatever you called it. So notice that did change. Let's go back and do this for the minutes and the day of the month as well. And we'll worry about, you'll notice that things are starting to fall outside of our square. We're going to clean that up too and make it look a lot better. Of course, this is where you're really going to start applying your own personal touch to things. So let me back up. Let me find my minutes. Now, obviously, it has changed to 44. It's just not updating on the fly. So here's my minutes. Notice the little red box around what we're changing. So I'm going to check that and do the same thing again. And then I need to navigate back and find the fourth. 
So that's going to be underneath what I call bottom stack in an earlier video. Yeah. So let me go to that and doing the same thing. So all of those match. Let's do the same thing for our letters. So backing up. And another way you can navigate to is just kind of tapping on these up here. So I'm going back to there. I want to find Sunday. And you can see how things are listed down here beneath each piece. Now remember for Sunday, this is a letters one. So I'm going to use my letters global font. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. I'm going to let it roll. Um, let's do October. And... Okay, and now one more thing. Let's go ahead and do the A and P. And that way they all look the same. Where was that at? Underneath our top stack. So now everything's like I wanted it. Now, word to the wise. Go ahead and save. Um, I think in a future update there's going to be an auto save feature because some, sometimes I do notice the app will crash and if it crashes, if whatever I didn't save, I lose. So uh, word to the wise, save up you know, every couple of minutes or something like that. Otherwise you're going to lose whatever you didn't save. Um, that happens for me on my phone. I don't know what happens for other folks. But now watch what happens. So we did have to go in here and change each piece individually, but let's go back to root, go over to globals. And suppose you don't like the way a font looks. For example, um, I want to change the pineapple font. That's going to be my letters. Let's find another one. Let's do good time. See how that changed? You can pick a different one. Suppose I want it to be LCD. See how it's changing? So pick one that you like. This is where you can start really adding your own personal touch. And, all right, I'm going to roll with that and let it be. <laughs> okay, so things are kind of uncentered or whatever, but here's some things we can start to do. We can clean this up and make, a little, make it look a little bit better. Um, for one thing, I probably want to make my 11 a little bit bigger. Um, that way it kind of looks like it'll be matching up with the AM. So there's a few things we can do here. We can always go back and actually edit this thing that we call Top Stack. That's what I called it in an earlier video. Top stack houses the 11, the minutes, and the AM, PM. So if I click on top stack, I had this layered horizontally center. If we do horizontal bottom, it didn't really change anything because of that font. I guarantee you that's why. But depending on what font you actually use there, it will change it. But let's make the 11 bigger nonetheless. Now as I make this 11 bigger, things are going to start sliding around. But that'll be all right. We can fix that too. So we have this little square. Let's fix the square. Let's make the square a little bit bigger. And now, watch what we can, what we can do with this. Um, paint, we pick blue, whatever color you want. Under FX, you can apply uh, some gradients. Now, I'm going to cover these in more detail in the future, but for right now, I'm going to go to Texture, and I'm going to do a radial gradient. It radiates from the center, and you can kind of see like a little circle of blue right there. Now, if I save this and I go back and look, basically, I want to take away the fact that this thing it still looks like a square. You can see the edges of it, but we can fix that by adjusting each little individual piece of the gradient. So going back into KOWP, Notice how that, it look, really looks like a circle now because it's a radial gradient and now we can do width, see we can make it where it looks like a circle down there, but it's still a square. Um, I think something like that'll be fine. Mm, yeah, all right there. I'll tell you what, I, I'm not happy with the way these fonts look, but again, this is, this is just stressing, stressing the idea of global fonts. You can change them right on the fly. Let me pick some things that I do like. I know I like uh, gun... Gunplay, that's one of my favorites. Where'd you go? All right, and I'm a fan of uh, also Bank Gothic. Again, I sh shouldn't be wasting time doing this, but nonetheless, there we go. Now my 48's off the screen. I probably need to make that 11 a little bit smaller. 
but I mean, this is worth showing to you. If you go changing your fonts, it definitely is going to affect how things look. So I'll make the 11 a little bit smaller, but there you go. I mean, that already looks quite a bit different. What's some other things we can do inside of here? Um, well, I don't want to make the video too long, so I, I think this is a good place to cut it off. You know, just showing you global fonts and, well, okay, I lied. One more thing, too. Let's do some global colors. These are something good for beginners to learn about, too. So colors. Suppose you got some colors you want to commonly use. You can call them whatever you want. I'm just going to call it color one. Now, if you know you always want to have a red, you can call it red. So color one. Or you can call it short letters too. So um, let me do a red. Um, you can give it short letters too. That actually helps you with your coding. So we can do another color, call it C2. Instead of calling something color or spelling it out later on down the road when you're actually using these things in codes, it actually helps to use short names because it helps with your typing. Helps you speed things up. So let's do like a green. All right, and I'll tell you what, we'll do one more. I mean, you can call a color, you can call it a number, we can call it nine, you can call it whatever you want. And what's the color we haven't really used? Okay, how about a light blue? Did I do a light blue? No, so we got red, we got green, we got blue. Now let's go back and apply some of these colors. So under items, Suppose we want the AM to be its own separate color. So under AM, I need to find it. And just like I changed the global font for the text, I'm going to go to AM, except under paint, when you pick your color, we're going to do the same thing, except uh, we'll talk about this later too. That's very fun to work with, but clicking on the globe. And let's just do color one. Okay, so color one, I guess, was the red one. And we're going to go back and look at these in a few minutes as well. Let's change the October. I'll tell you what, it might be a cool idea to do both of these in its own little color. So paint, what did I, let's do C2. All right, when they go back and edit the four, I'm gonna give it the same color. See that? Um, what do we want to do here? Sunday, let's give it, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make the Sunday green too. And you'll see what we're going to be doing here. Boom, 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 paint. And C2. Okay, so we got all that. I'm going to make the 11 and the 48 that third color that I had. So let's go back and find 11 and the minutes. So it's 11.52 now. Paint, applying the global. Let's do the nine, whatever we call that. So there's that one, and then let's do the 48, which is now 52 or 53. And now nine. So look how this thing is already really starting to change versus where it did at the beginning of the video. Um, you can even do this. Like Remember how we did the gradients inside of here? You can even do gradients on these things as well. For example, let's start applying a texture and let's do a vertical gradient. Check it out. See that 48? Um, maybe I want my 11 to look like that as well. So FX. What did I do? I forget. Um, vertical gradient. Yeah, there you go. See that? Um, go tweak your Sunday and all that stuff as well. All I'm doing now is just showing you quick ways to customize. Now, you might say, okay, yeah, I like this. It's starting to look a lot better. The only thing is this. If you start changing so many things, um, you're going to see in future videos that we're going to be putting a lot of different globals onto things to where we can even have this gradient change on us by us simply changing one, one little piece of a global font instead of us having to come in here and change the 11 change the 48 change the Sunday change the October um, when we do globals for all these different things we're changing such as the colors and we can even use globals for the gradients you'll see that you can do it a lot quicker by using global fonts but nonetheless I do want to show you how we can really this is already looking so much different than what it did a few minutes ago when we first started creating this
So I'm going to finish this off. Feel free to fast forward. I'm just doing a few tweaks in here. All right. And then the AM, I tell you what, I'm going to go back and tweak that one as well. Navigating back. Remember, you can navigate real quick by using those. And there's my AM. And I tell you what I'm going to do with the AM. I'm going to put that radial gradient, gradient on that. Check it out. Now, suppose you don't like the red. Suppose you don't like the blue. Since I already got a blue back here, I'm not a, I don't want this to be blue as well. So let's go back to our globals inside of our root. Let's find that blue and let's just make it a different color. Suppose like a yellow. Tap that, save it, and let's go view it. So there you have it. This is a totally, it looks totally different to me. I don't know about you, but, um, you know, same ideas. Nothing's overlapping because we kept all our stack groups. You know, we had horizontal centered stack. We had vertically stacked. These things were vertically stacked. But as you can see, in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes through me showing you, um, you'll be doing this in a matter of seconds once you get used to navigating the advanced editor in KLWP. But there you have it, global fonts, global colors, and just a little bit of tweaking to totally start putting your own unique touch inside of your custom live wallpaper. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.